A lot of uh, professional musicians tune in just for uh, that part of the podcast to hear me playing the cue with chalk. I'm a virtuoso. The sounds I can get out of this thing. Um, welcome to Frame. We hardly need reminding you of the number 165, a crucial frame in the Me 1 versus Me 2 competition that has been going for well over 10 years now. Me 1, the normal man playing Me 2, the very, very strong breeze, to find out who is the best at snooker. Um, first up, bad news, Charles Stanley's family got in touch last week, then they thought I was taking the mickey out of Charles Stanley and did what? I can't remember. can't remember who it was. Uh, and want the... Arena not to be named after him. There's only one choice today. Um, probably one of the most important people who's ever lived uh, has died today. Connected with music. Uh, of course, if you're a fan of French ministers of culture, but you better prepare yourself if, and defence as well if you think France deserves defending. Francois Lyotard died today at the age of 81 years old. Of course, the brother of uh, the infamous Philippe Leotard, singer and actor. Um, is Philippe still alive? I know you're asking that question. No, he's not. He died in 2001 at the age of 60 in the 11 arrondissement of Paris. Um, of respiratory failure. It was a very sad death. I'm surprised you don't remember it. Francoise. He carried on living, though, after his brother went. He lived for another 22 years. Died at the age of 81. See, that's the weird thing with brothers. They don't live the exact length of time as you would think. Uh, family invented the leotard, of course. Leotard. Imagine being named after a leotard. That's like being called Simon Tutu. Actually, that's a Desmond Tutu. Would have been a funnier joke. Can we re? Can we redo that? Anyway, no time for jokes. This is a serious game of snooker. But before that, let's get the 8.02 football scores going a little bit earlier than usual. It'll be 8.03 by the time we get to the important bits. So we're in the Premier League. Wolverhampton Wanderers, surprised they're in the Premier League. I thought they were in the Championship. Uh, they've got one goal, which probably means they might stay in the Premier League. And Crystal Palace. And literally, they are in a palace made of crystal. It's like from Frozen. But they play football sometimes. They slip around a lot. And not surprisingly, they have scored no goals. Aston Villa have not got no goals. Fulham, who you would think were in, were in the Championship as well, wouldn't you? Nil. And Leeds United, who will soon be in the Championship. Nil. Uh, Leicester City. Nil. That's a crucial game there. It's almost as crucial as this frame of snooker. Over to the Championship, where Blackburn Rovers are playing Burnley. Top team Burnley. Uh, could become champions today if they win. I expect. I mean, they're definitely going to be champions anyway. Nil nil. Uh, League One, Barnsley nil, Ipswich Town nil, Bolton Wanderers nil, Accrington Stanley nil, Lincoln City nil, Burton Albion nil, Oxford United nil, Cheltenham Town nil, Plymouth Argyle nil, Bristol Rovers nil. I'm good to see League One not letting us down or the Championship. Only Wolves letting us down so far. Ah, oh, but in League Two, start this, gone crazy for goals. Grimsby one, Crew Alexandra nil, Mansfield Town one, Leighton Orient nil, Newport County one, Harrogate Town two. They scored three goals in that match. Who do they think they are? Newcastle United? Yeah, a little topical joke there for uh, the Tottenham fans who are watching, the 56 people. Swindon Town, nil. Stevenage, close to me, nil. Stevenage doing well in League Two. In the National League, most important league, York City seem to have just about made sure they're safe as long as they don't lose the last game 13 nil. We should be okay. Um, I doubt that Torquay are going to beat Wrexham, but, you know, Wrexham are promoted now. They might... Oh, there's 80 people, apparently. Well, there's going to be a couple of Tottenham fans amongst those. Boreham, boring Boreham Wood, nil. Gateshead, gatey Gateshead, nil. Wealdstone, nil. Solihull Moors, nil. Uh, Woking, nil. Halifax Town. Should be able to do Yorkshire. Nil. Um, Chris Evans thanking me very much for today. Don't know what his problem is. I'm doing this. Uh, National League North, Kirsten Ashton nil. ACFC filed, who could be coming up. Uh, two goals. National League South, 
Chessant nil, Worthing nil, Dutch Hamlet nil, Concord Rangers nil, Farnborough nil, Tombridge Angels nil, Hungerford Town nil, Bath City nil, Taunton nil, Weymouth won in the Battle of the West Country, Weymouth were ahead, uh, Welling nil, Welling United nil, Hampton and Richmond nil. Lowland League Rangers, we have got no goals, but Caledonian Braves have no goals as well. Uh, into the Spanish La Liga, Cadiz. Uh, nil, Othoathana one, Gijon for Real Madrid the one, Real Betis 21, Real Sociedad nil. I don't know why all the Spanish teams want to make sure they're real. I just assume the team is real unless it puts real in its uh, title and then I'm suspicious. Uh, the Dutch Eris Divisie, unfortunately that is a result so I can't do that. But uh, here we are in the Swiss Super League. Uh, the the uh, 32 minutes in, the Grasshopper Club Zurich, uh, it's a club made up entirely of grasshoppers. Uh, they play football. It's a bit like Ratatouille, but they don't control human beings. They've scored one goal, the grasshoppers. Uh, they've, they, they're better than you think. They're playing some young boys uh, who have scored one goal as well, but they are very young boys. One all. So that's, uh, that's that out of the way. Uh, I got fed up with uh, Sybil predicting the future. Also, her face has been cleaned up. She's beautiful, and I'm slightly sexually aroused when I see her now because she's so pretty. I thought she was uh, Harridan, but she's gorgeous. Uh, so there's going to be no predictions. We're going to get straight on. It feels like there's something else we're meant to do. No, we're done. I've still got a cough. Do you think I should go to the doctors? I think it's just a bug. But, you know, once you've had cancer, everything you think everything could be cancer. Sorry, it's inappropriate. We're talking uh, in a wonderful... We're here in a wonderful um, sporting occasion. Sport trumps everything, doesn't it? Um, so, last frame. Frame 164. Um, a, a very solid win. I remember it now for me too. Uh, me won. Got only 16 points in total. And there was a seven break. There was a seven foul and a four foul. So they may, maybe only scored about five actual points. I'm not sure that they even got those. They might have potted one ball. Uh, me too. Steamed ahead with uh, 63 to putting them two frames ahead. And it was the me too of old. I would like to talk to me too about that. He's just sitting down now. How are you feeling? It was me of old, wasn't it? I was back. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to me. I was in a bit of a, uh, what's the word, a sort of desert. I was in the wilderness, that's it. And um, like Jesus, I'm not saying I'm Jesus. Uh, and um, there were people calling out for Sybil, very upset about Sybil. Uh, sorry, that should be me saying that. Oh, people are very upset about Sybil. A lot of people want Sybil. Uh, well, we're not talking about Sybil now, we're talking about me. And I feel like I'm back. I feel like we don't have to worry. I feel like I will really get that 10 frame cushion. No pun intended. And, uh, you know, I'm doing it for the refugees, for the people, the boat people. I'm doing it, uh, sorry, is this a new thing? Yeah, I'll do it for the kids in hospital, obviously, but anyone, any refugees watching, coming across on boats, uh, you're welcome to stay in my house. Uh, hang on. No, that's how I feel. You know, I'm a good guy. So, I mean, do you think the refugees are watching? Do you think any refugees are watching? A lot of refugees watch this sport. It gives them hope. They see someone like me. I've been forced my way up from the gutter. Um, to become a world champion snooker player and they're inspired by that so that's what a lot of them have come over here because the snooker boards over here are better than wherever they're from uh, and uh, they hope for a new life so that's what I'm that's who I'm playing for well amazing stuff there from me too good luck Jim I suppose me one are you playing for the uh, for the refugees I'm not, Richard. I'm not playing for refugees. I don't. I believe England belongs to the English. Uh, and Scotland belongs to the English. Wales belongs to the English. Northern Ireland belongs to the English. Ireland, you know. Uh, well, I'm not, I don't want to get too controversial. We've had an Irish me have, have, have had to play a few times. Um, but I'll let you draw your own conclusions who, who should be in control of Ireland. Most of France. Um... And I think only pure-blooded English people should be allowed to live in, in any of the British Isles. Uh, I disagree with uh, me ones there. I mean, I don't understand what pure-blooded English means anyway. Obviously, 
there's the United Kingdom is already made up of many different nationalities, um, but by by its very nature, human life did not spring up in the United Kingdom, uh, and thus we're all related to immigrants in some degree. Not me so much. My my uh, my bloodline is pretty pure actually, but I don't. That's not how I don't, you know. I don't look at everyone and think the rest of you are muggles just because I'm a pure bred Englishman with a bit of Irish in there. But as me one says, um, where was I? I don't know. I think you were talking yourself uh, around into something. But you know, part of me must be in you, so that's fair enough. But yeah, let's. Should we get on with a snooker? Um, sure, you don't want Sybil to come. All right, for Jason Downing, you've got upset. Here comes the all new improved oh, Sybil. Her head's off. But she's beautiful. If you haven't seen, if you found her shocking before, look. Ooh, hi. Well, that's a bit that's a bit worrying. The way her head's gone onto the Johnsons. I get all my dry cleaning done at Johnsons, and so should you. They're a fantastic dry cleaner. Recycle your um uh, what are these called? Hangers. At uh, at Johnson's, look how beautiful she is. I've always been this beautiful, Richard. You are just too dying to see it. What do you think the score will be? I think me too will win. Okay, me too will win. Yeah, and I think he will win. Seventy-two thirteen. Wow. Well, that's a big bold prediction there. Oh, that is slightly mental, but she's so pretty now. Who cares? I mean, she's no referee free. Let's not get out. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So look, let's get on. Let's let the snooker do the talking. Um, let's head over to commentator one, commentator two, in the um, Francois Leotard. I've got to write that down just in case anything happens. Hopefully this week the name will stick. The Francois Leotard uh, Arena. How are we doing? Well, Richard, good to be here. Good. The uh, protesters have gone. Uh, no smoke this week. And uh, how are you feeling, commentator too? Looking forward to... You haven't really been doing much commentating recently. Well, you know, I've never done a lot of commentating because I feel this is a, a travesty against God and nature. But so, you know, I'll chip in if, if anything occurs to me. OK, well, it's me, one who will be coming up to the hockey in this slightly dodgy, dirty tracksuit bottoms. Uh, referee three, just turning more lights on. It's got a bit dark up here. Oh, turn them off. Beautifully set up the old green board. And me one. Can he not go in off? No, he's gone in off. And he's potted the black. That's pretty impressive stuff. Potted the back in the bottom right-hand pocket. If you're if you're listening to this on the podcast, as you should be in audio only. Um, it's seven points. It should be 11 points to me too, really, shouldn't it, for the, for the double mistake. But uh, he only gets the seven. Maybe the self-playing snooker board will change those rules to make it fairer one of these days. But that's looking good for me too. And he could clear from here. And that's what I'm talking about. He's got. He's on the black. He's potted the red. He's well on the black. This could be the maximum break we've been waiting for. That's eight. Break of eight already achieved. I think we might struggle to make it nine, but he, me too, is having a go. And he has struggled, or has he? he oh, a bit harder. He might have cannonballed that one in, but that's an amazing break of eight. Calculating, calculating, me one, not me two. Calculating, calculating, calculating. Cal it takes a long time to calculate. It's a big score. 15, me one needs to pull his finger out of his anus. Oh, but me one could clear from here. Pots are red. Pots are black. Is he on a red? It's very exciting how this is set up here. Can he get to that red and can he get back on the black? Oh, trying to get back on a colour. He bodged the, uh, the red, unfortunately. But still a very important break of eight. There are two breaks of eight within the first couple of minutes. I think we're in for a classic frame here. Me too. He's potted and he's hit it hard enough not to go in off. I think he was thinking about that. He don't think he can pot this black, but the black's pretty much all he can hit. He's gonna try and put it in the center pocket. I think he's insane. Yeah, oh, that was crazy because he's put me one right. He was just got a little bit too cocky there, I think, about his own abilities. 
Me one, actually a bit of a tricky pot, but me one, my, oh, me one man is it, and me, he's fallen into me two's trap. He potted, that's brilliantly played by me two. He worked out the angles. He realized that if that red was potted, the, the cue ball would go down. It is now 20, plays seven, and me two at the hockey, very much in control. Oh, there is some potting going on today, my friends. That was the pot of the frame so far. Uh, he's going for the blue. He's got it. Now, it was looking good for potting another red, yeah, red but I think the blue's going to get in the way of that one. Can me to pull this red back into the top right hand pocket? That's what he's thinking. He can't. It was a good try, but me too gets a break of six. 19 points ahead. Surely it's all over, commentator two. Well, I would just say, wait and see. I've, I've seen a lot of snooker matches. Oh, me one miscues. Almost misses the red altogether. Misses a easy, easy red. And that's the kind of meat and Sorry to interrupt you, commentator two. That's when you talk so rarely, but that's the kind of meat and potatoes that me too eats up and he's potted. He's potted the red. Again, I don't think there's much he can do. Can he get this black through that gap? Surely not. He's going to try it. He's insane. No. Nearly goes in off. Uh, that's the confidence of the man. He's 20 points ahead. Me one. What are you saying, commentator? I was just saying that anything can happen. So shut, shut the fuck up. And there you go. As if to prove commentator one right. A beautiful pot from me one. And he nudges the pink. Oh, that should have gone down. Can it still go in? No, it's going to miss. But me one jumps up to... Oh, actually, I think he was on eight points, wasn't he? So he's on nine now. So I make it 27-9, uh, Andy. Let's see. Yes, there we go. He agrees. Um, me too. Been handed a lifeline. And he doesn't need it. He's pot again, fantastic potting from me too. He really is completely back on form. Can he get this black into the center pocket? Surely not. Oh, very close, but he's actually would have snookered himself if he'd done it. It's uh, gaggly dink, gaggly dink, me one nine, me two, 28. And Sybil's prediction not looking ridiculous, it has to be said, especially with this snooker going on here. Oh, me one. Pot, it goes in off, hits the pink and goes in off. And me too is back into the ascendant here. He's joined the panoply of the gods. Can me too pot this red? It's a tricky one. He hasn't done it. Oh, has he? Oh, nearly pots the black. Me one still within pissing distance. And he pots, I mean, he's potting better than last week, but it's not enough, I don't think. Oh, beautifully done from me one. It looked like the brown was missing that he went for, but uh, he just nicked it off the black and in it went. I think his chance of getting this red, maybe now the brown's back on its slot. Difficult. Yeah, but or maybe gone for the snooker. So five points to me one. There's now 20 between these two, but a beautiful snooker. There's four balls in between. And this will be a difficult one to hit for me too. Going to have to, no, he's missed, but uh, it was close enough. He's given four points away. And that just could be what makes the difference for me when the colours, remember, are worth more than the reds. Me one tries to double, nearly goes in off, but doesn't. Me two, looking a little nervous. Oh, just hits it, cuts that a little bit too fine. Me one, he cuts it a bit too the wrong way. Didn't really look at it properly. Me too. Can he double this one into the centre pocket? Surely not. He'd have to be a genius. He's a genius. Me too. Not only pots, pots the red, he's right on the blue. Uh, it hasn't quite made it to the yellow, I don't think. Didn't get enough spin or something on that. Can he double this yellow in? No. There's a blues in the way. He'd have to be crazy to try it. Or can he double it the other way? He tried and went in off. It was a beautiful try from me too. He gets uh, six points, gives away four. 
but you've got to admire the audacity. Calculating, calculating, me one, 22, me two, 40. I admire the audacity. Now, it's still very achievable for me one to get back into this. Me two, maybe getting too cocky. Oh, jingles and jangles in the pocket. Just misses, me is a snooker, me too. Gets out of the snooker and oh, almost pots the yellow. That would have been an incredible pot. Me one, pots the yellow, comes down for the green. He's gone a little bit too far. Ooh, that's made life pretty difficult for me one. He's just going to try and get the edge of this green. If he does it, that could be life-saving. Me one. Oh, hold on, something went down. It was the it was the cue ball. How unfortunate for me one. He got two. He's given away four. I think it's 24 plays 44. 20 points between them. 25 on the board. Me too. Can, he's done one double. Can he do another fantastic double? It's gonna be a treble. No. Nowhere near. Me one. Doesn't even, look, my God, that was a shot. He didn't even get down to that, didn't even look at it. He just played by sense of smell there. And me one has just given me two something to think about. And he's just trying to smash that, smash the brown up the board. Me too, just needs to pop one or two of these. And it's another frame in the old bag. He didn't do too well there. He may have got a snooker here, or he may just have set up me one. Can me one pull off the great, oh, the greatest comeback ever? Probably not, because uh, just completely missed the brown. It was quite an easy brown, he missed it. He needed to get a little light edge on it. Me too, not so worried about that, just plonks the baby in. Can he, can he finish a break of 22? No. Me too. Now, streaking ahead, I think he's 25 points ahead, 18 points on the board. Me one needs to do something pretty spectacular. Tries to get the cue ball up the board table, but actually just brings them very close together. Me two, he's gonna try another double. Oh, it, was a, it wasn't a double, it was an attempt to make the cue ball double kiss, pop the blue in the top. What a fantastic attempt. Now that was a bit hard to get down to, but me too, surely he's done it now. Running away with this, me one. Just needs to hope for the best, get some snookers, and that was not a snooker. <sighs> me too, just needs to keep battering it around until it goes in. Oh, he doubles it in, the perfect double. He's played some fantastic snookers tonight. This is complete deserves, he's gone in off at the end. Doesn't matter, me two gets six points. Me one gets a consolation seven. As far as I can see, it ends up 34, 63. So Sybil not far off, really not far off. 34, 63, always ask Sybil. Oh shit. Uh, she said 72, 13, uh, very close. The important thing is it's the, first, the 80 frame barrier has been cracked. Some people said it would never happen. I said to those people, you don't really understand how numbers work, do you? 80-77 in favor of Me Too. He's opening up that gap. It's not the only gap he's opened up, I'm sure in his time, he's opened up a few gaps and he's just slid his cue, his unchalked cue into those gaps. And my oh my, it's been explosive what has happened when he's done that. I'm talking about his penis. Back to you, Richard Herring. Um, well, I, sorry about that uh, adult content suddenly turning up at the end there. I don't know if there's no real call for that. Um, amazing frame. And like the snooker, after some weeks of poor snooker, um, I mean, me one up wasn't very good, apart from one fantastic shot. But the balls were flying around the table. Um, and the way that I found is offensive because I only have one ball. And uh, what a match. Uh, if you're not watching self-playing snooker, then you won't have heard this, what I'm saying. So, But you should be watching is what I'm saying. Or, or ideally listening. What's happened with my microphone? It's gone all funny. It should be like that. There we go. Oh, no, it's pointing into there. That's better. Um, 
<clears throat> Let's quickly talk to the players. Uh, first of all, losing player me one. How are you feeling? Good. Uh, me too. How are you? <laughs> Fandabby noisy. Well, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a wee Jimmy Cranky reference in 2023 during self-playing snooker. But there it was. Uh, maybe used ironically, but he looked happy. Um, hopefully, we Jimmy Cranky will never... I mean, he's a young boy, so he probably won't die before I do. So it'll, the, the arena will never be named after him. But uh, And uh, hopefully it'll be named after Francois Lyotard. Um, from now on. Uh, thanks for watching. It's great to get it done in 25 minutes. I can't tell you how great that is. From me and all the me's, I'd like to wish you the best of British luck and good night, good luck in all your endeavours and see you on the other side next week on a Tuesday. Thursday, Twitch of fun if you are so inclined. It was good this week, this last one. There's no guarantee it'll be good this coming week. That's the beauty. That's the wonder of Woolworths. That's the wonder of good old Woolies. Goodbye.